Hello gamers, welcome back to another video. As you all know from my previous unboxing video that I have received my load cell paddles from Simruito store on AliExpress. So in this video, I will be showing you how to install the custom software developed by Simruito store in-house the R&D team and how to calibrate the paddles using that software. I enjoy using these load cell paddles and I feel that it is making a big difference in consistency of my braking and acceleration in my practice labs. Before we get into this video, I request all the viewers to subscribe to my channel as 90% of the viewers are not subscribed and your subscription helps me stay motivated to make such content. With that said, let's get started. First, I have to download the software from the link provided by Simruito store product page. I will add a short URL to my video description for those who want to use it. This URL is from Google Drive where they have two important files. One, paddle calibration installation which is in English. So it is a tutorial document and second, Simruito Paddles 1.72 zip file which is the actual software as during the time of this recording. I will download both the files and extract it. We extract the software zip file and try to run the software. Here is the tutorial file which have clear steps on what the user have to do to calibrate the paddles. This looks like it needs .NET desktop runtime to start. So when I press yes, it will take me to .NET desktop runtime download page and start downloading. Once I install .NET runtime, then we can launch the software again. Here we can see that software launches fine and as per the documentation, if the logo is green, then it means device is connected. In my case, the logo is green, so my device is connected and detected correctly. I see the UI looks decent and not too cluttered. Here we have throttle, brake and clutch settings. We can set dead zones, accuracy and output curve using the preset present in the software itself or use our custom preset. Then in the end we can save the config on the device EEP ROM using the button on the bottom right. So let's start the calibration process. I will press all the paddle once and tweak it to my liking. I think only brake needs to be at 50 kg load and that should be fine for my strength. Everything looks good to me as I will save the configuration to EEP ROM. I think this is a very simple software for calibration which covers most of the info which covers most of the important configuration needed for pedal calibration. That's it for this video. I hope this video helped you in calibrating your new Simurito load cell pedals. If this video helped you in any way, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.